mean, look at the size of that little guy. <laughs> Just can't help myself. All right, I'm at the lake. I'm actually at a different lake here in South Dakota. This is another kayak only access lake. And I fish this one quite a bit. So I'm gonna map this one out first. It's probably gonna take me three hours, I'm hopeful. Just set up the, uh, the Garmin. Uh, but I'm not gonna use the panoptics on this trip. I'm just gonna use the fishing chart, the GPS. So take a minute for that GPS to find me. Hopefully I have time later this evening to map out the other lake we were just fishing on. I think I will. It's gonna be exhausting. It's gonna be a lot of miles on the kayak, probably 20 miles of paddling, but it's a foot paddle kayak, so I got a chance. Now, in the meantime, I'm actually gonna fish uh, while I'm paddling. I'm gonna be using this giant spinner blade. I mean, this thing is huge. Most people use them about a fraction of this size. I've got a bunch of green beads and then a night crawler harness. So I'm gonna be putting a worm on with two hooks and just dragging a worm along behind me. That way, if I catch one, it's huge. If I don't, no big deal. So basically trophy fishing, mapping out the lake. Be pretty cool if I caught one. So I'll keep the GoPro running just in case. More importantly, I'm gonna show you how this mapping software works a little bit and get to work. All right, so you'll see it here. I'm taking sun very, the sunshine very seriously. Sorry about the backlighting. So you'll see I'm taking the sun very seriously today because I don't want to put sunscreen on. Not that I'm opposed to sunscreen if it's zinc, but you know, I'd rather just use the sun shirt, sunglasses, sun hat, sun everything. But uh, let me show you how I do this. So I, I can connect my phone to my panoptics, which I'm gonna do here. Just go into the app. Okay, so you see the screen here on my depth finder. I've connected this to my phone. What I do is I just hit start recording. And I'm actually recording the screen right now for you on my phone. And I'll just pull that up here on the, on the TV for you on the video, I should say. I'll pull it up on the video here for you. And now what I do is I just kayak around and I've actively gone into the menu here. Look at this, you see? And you go into the settings. Oops. Let's see, how do I do this? Menu, uh, quick draw, start recording. So I'm actually recording here. You can see I can stop recording. And now I'm actually no longer Recording the bottom contours. This is a contour map. I'm actually making a map right now. So I'm chart plotting they call it So start recording That little green bubble around me is where I'm recording and you can see here I've already recorded a lot on this lake because I fished this lake, but I've only Recorded this this little corner of the lake So now I'm gonna go through and here watch this you see that little brown spot there. I'm coming up on I'm gonna move over there Ooh, I'm bumping the bottom. I'm only two and a half feet here. There's weeds. So I'm actually eating up that little brown spot. You see? So I'm chewing that up. I'm actually going in and I'm plotting that. So now it's saving that little area. And it's basically saying, yeah, that's charted. We know what that is. So if I come back out here and fish that later, I know what that looks like even before I go out here. And that's really important to understand what the contours are on the bottom of a lake when you're walleye fishing, especially. And that's what I do out here on these lakes because walleyes are very structure oriented. They like to go out on these lakes and, uh, and hold on to real tight structure, whether it's a sunken island, whether it's a point, whether it's an inside bend, an outside bend, this, that, and other thing. So yeah, you notice there, I just took care of that little brown spot. So now we'll just do some time lapse and I'll show you some of the lake mapping here as I go along. It's also interesting to note here as we go along that 
you can see there used to be a road here and this is South Dakota. I mean, this part north, east South Dakota has flooded out a lot of areas. And so the water level's gone up and there's nowhere for the water to drain out. There's no rivers. It doesn't river out. That's what people tell me around here. It's like a local term of saying like, hey, the water comes in, it rains and it doesn't go anywhere. So it, it ended up flooding all these areas and it's new lakes. These are brand new lakes, 50 years old or less. And the state government put a bunch of fish in them and they're great. Uh, in fact, they're exceptional because a lot of them aren't polluted with a bunch of Asian carp and that sort of thing, exotic fish or invasive fish, I should say. So, but yeah, that's, you can actually see there's not supposed to be a lake right here where I'm at. There's supposed to be a road and the lake's supposed to be over there to the right. Uh, but here we are on the lake, mapping it out. Doesn't even feel that big, but it's fish, it's kind of fun. Let's see what we got here. I don't even think there's pike in this lake, so it's probably a good sized walleye. But again, it doesn't feel huge, but it might just be coming in easy. Let's see. Oh, that's a decent walleye. Good walleye. I'm gonna net this beast and take a look. There we go. Excellent walleye. Not a monster, but I'd say maybe a 22 inch or something. It's a nicer fish, for sure. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say 23 inches. That's a real nice fish. Look at that. Real pretty fish. Let's put them on the measuring stick here. Get a number on this and then let them go. It's a good 21. Solid fish. Back it goes. Oops. Have to revive that one a little bit. After about two and a half hours, I finally picked up a 21 inch walleye. Uh, it's pretty windy out here. So right now I'm just drifting across the lake. I'm not actually fishing that much. A lot of the time I'm fighting wind and going really fast. So I can't really fish, but some of the time when I get tired, I just drift here and picked up a nice walleye. When I chucked him back in, he's a little stressed out. So I actually decided to net this one and keep it. So that's good. Nothing wrong with keeping a good sized walleye. Good eater. giant but it's a walleye come on baby that's an 18 inch fish right there <laughs> we'll take them number two two out of four let's catch a limit as long as i'm mapping out the lake having fun
Can't believe I'm catching little ones occasionally with this giant spinner rig I've got on. Just, just the way it works sometimes. Ridiculous. <laughs> little guy. Hungry. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> the spinner blade is almost as big as the walleye. <laughs> like I say, man, that, that's a hungry fish, but that's a good thing. Sometimes you wanna, you wanna find the hungries. There's gonna be some bigs around here somewhere. <clears throat> hammered it. This is a 13 incher. <laughs> That's ludicrous. I just can't get over that. <laughs> they probably think it's a buddy of theirs, that big blade, and then their buddy's eating something, so they come over and try and take it from their buddy, you know, that kind of thing. Who knows what they're thinking when they're that small and they're eating a bait that big. Still fun. Last keeper. Not huge, but it'll keep. It'll keep really well. take a break from mapping out the lake for a minute and just catch a few fish. I'm on a great little spot here. So I switched over to a jig, a little piece of plastic on it. Whew, I think it'll work. It should be, should be fun. this in here. Switch into a jigging wrap. This will work. Superb. Jigging wrap drives me nuts. Got him. <laughs> Look at these 
little guys. Oh, on a stack of little tiny walleyes. I love it. Oh, I mean, look at the size of that little guy. <laughs> Jigging round. <clears throat> oh, 13 incher. Probably what that pod was. Still. size to this one. Excellent. Oh, for sure. I mean, they're out deeper, those bigger ones. For sure. Mm. Excellent. We got four today. That's what I like to see. I mean, 14 inch wall, I will keep them. Along with our other 18 inchers and our 21 incher. It's a good day on the water. All right, that is gonna do it for me. Thank you for watching. Sun's going down. I got my four walleyes. I actually wasn't planning to really fish right now, but I couldn't help it. I bumped into a bunch of walleyes up on that rock point over there and just got into them, had a ton of fun. Check out the sunset, by the way. So yeah, hopefully you learned some stuff about charting the lake and enjoyed it. So stay tuned, we got some fun stuff coming up.